Kujri Gumru, or good day. My name is Jamani. This here is my friend Paddy. My name is Aisha, and I'm Tara. And so today we are going to learn a story called Bura Bura. But before I begin, I would like to say an acknowledgement of country. So I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land the Rocks Discovery Museum sits on, the Gadigal people, and extend that respect to elders past, present and future, as well as to all the Aboriginal peoples whose lands you are watching from. Yeah. So what are we learning about today? Excellent question, Aisha. Today we are going to learn the story of the Bura Bira, which is an Aboriginal dreaming story from the Gadigal peoples and the surrounding Aboriginal peoples from a long, long, long time ago. And it tells us the story of how the harbour here in Sydney was formed, how it was made. Yeah. Wow. Will I learn any language? <gasps> yes, you will, Carol. So through the story, we're going to learn some language, some Gadigal words. So as, I, as we learn them, I'm going to tell you the Gadigal word and the English word. And then the next time you hear it, I will only say the Gadigal word. So make sure to pay attention and see if you can remember those words. We're also going to get help from some of Patty's friends. So they're going to be puppets just like Patty and they're going to help us tell the story of the Bura Bira. And we're sitting here around this magnificent campfire. Why do we have fire here, Marnie? Excellent question, Carol, also. So this here fire is um, so we can tell our stories because a long, long time ago, when people would learn, or when the Gadigal children would learn, they would sit out around the fire and be told stories. So we sit here and we learn and we talk and we tell these histories and these dreaming stories. So that's what we're going to do today. And our fire here is made from a piece of toilet paper roll and some crepe paper in different colours to give us those flame effects. We put them all together and tell our stories. Are you ready to hear the story of the Bora Bira? Yeah. Yeah. A long, long time ago, there was no evil in this Nura or land. Everyone was peaceful, and the Gadi Gareng Sea was further to the east than it is today. And the place called Bura Bira, stood high in the deep Yarang, or valley, which it guarded. This Yarang was the home of the Paradui, the Bara, or eel, dreaming spirit. The Bura Bira was a special Nyurang, or place for the Dinyalang, or women, who, when needed, carried out the ceremony called Batawi. Every Gurung or child, when they reached a certain age, was taken to the Burabira, where they were taught certain things. The Gurung received protection from any Gumada or evil spirits, which could enter them and cause them to do bad things. Now because the Nyura, or land, between the deep Yarang and the Garigarang shore was flat and easy walking with plenty of food, the people became fat, lazy and forgetful. The Mula, or men, no longer honoured the Gamada of the animals they hunted and killed. They wasted much of their prey eating only the parts they liked most and leaving the remainder to rot away. And the Dinyalang no longer taught their Gurang the ways of the people. They no longer paid their respects to the Earth Mother or gave thanks for the food they received so easily. The Gurang grew to manhood and womanhood without being taught the laws and why it is necessary to obey those laws, why we have to follow those rules. They formed themselves into bands that roamed the flatlands, destroying the ganyas or homes of the old 
stealing fishing gamai or spears and other hunting weapons and using them to fight the members of other bands. The Yora heard them coming and would conceal themselves high upon the Burabira, hiding up there. Now from this vantage point, they watched trepidation or fear as one band approached the home of the great Bara. The home of the great Bara spirit, Paradui, was guarded by the old warrior Kemarai. Kemarai heard noises of an approaching group and went to welcome his visitors. But he was quickly surrounded by the lawless ones who laughed at his clumsy actions as he tried to avoid the jabbing of the spears. Bleeding from many wounds, the old man fell to the ground. In a deep pool in the river, the great Bara heard the commotion and heard the cries of help from his old Gamarada, or friend. It swam up to the surface of the pool. The lawless one saw the great Bara and threw their Gamai at him in fear as it pulled itself up out of the water. Its great body moved towards its old Gamal, or friend, as the last Gamai of the Lawless Ones struck its tail. The Pomal began to shake violently and a great chasm opened up in the ground following the fleeing Lawless Ones and swallowing them as they fled towards the flatlands. Then a storm came in from the Gadigarang and the waves crashed across the flatlands until they reached the cliffs that marked the beginning of the highlands. Paradui spoke, let this be a warning. The laws of this land must be obeyed and the proper ceremonies must be carried out in the proper manner. Paradui turned to look at the Burabira slowly being engulfed by the waves. The Burabira will now be a place where the sea creatures take their garang to teach them the laws of the Garigarang. But you may visit safely from time to time so that you will remember why the laws must be passed on to the young. Good lessons can always be learned from bad things. This place will be safe for the Yora to hunt and to fish and live and teach the laws. The great Paradui slipped silently into the water and with a splash of its tail disappeared beneath the waves. The people watched the waves hoping for a glimpse of the great Bara as it made its way to its new home. One of the children, a young Wangara, or boy, went to the water's edge, then looked back at his Wayanga, or mother, and spoke in a voice that was not his. Until we forget again. Until we forget again. And that, boys and girls, is the story of the Bura Bira, the eel-dreaming story of the Gadigal people and the surrounding Aboriginal people which tells us how the harbour here was formed in Sydney. And the Burabira, the island, is still an island that sits in Sydney Harbour to this day. Wow! Um, so thank you all for watching today. I hope you've had fun. I hope you've enjoyed the show. But from myself, Aisha, Carol, and all our friends here, we'd like to say a big yanu yanu, or goodbye. See you soon. <laughs>